this is my second video for today. Um, 因为之前有机会认识到一些社会人士，然后有算是听到各位的需求，然后想说想说选什么内容比较适合大家呢？那就整理了一些资料，我把过去我教英文的资源呢拿来做分享，那就找到一个这个算是一个 PDF。那这 PDF 呢？它这边有写它的来源是 TOEFLessays.com。So I did not make this material。这个不是我亲自做的，这是免费提供可以下载的一个资源。那如果各位有兴趣的话，可以到这个网站去参考，那就可以下载我今天要讲这些东西。那这个文件的名称叫做 Answers to All TOEFL Essay Questions。那这是我早期之前早期在教 TOEFL 的时候，要帮学生改作文啊。要怎么样进步作文，无非就是阅读好的文章啊。有一个说法我还蛮喜欢的啊，那就是，嗯，小学生的单字哦，小学生文法，那你就只有得到小学生的呃作文分数。也就是如果你都是用很简单的什么 interesting 啊 ，very delicious 等等，那你的文章就不叫没有深度。那对于考托福，哪怕是考雅思等等的人，那呃就可能没有太大帮助。所以。我当初会，哦，对不起，我当时会整理一些，呃，好的文章跟学生一起讨论，啊、哦，除了改学生文章之外呢，也是要让学生读一下，呃，好的文章有哪些架构 ，OK， 那这这个影片的主题呢，就是纯粹阅读文章 ，OK， 我不会去改这个文章，因为它有一定的水准，它不会是最好的，可是它有一定有一些学习的。呃，成分在。那社会人士如果想要学英文的话，无非只有阅读而已。嗯、呃，如果我今天问各位，哦，假设问哦，比如说呃 ，Crystal， 还是问 Jerry， 还是问嗯、呃、，David， 比如说 ，Should business hire employees for their entire lives? Okay, if I were to ask you this question， 如果现在问现在看影片的你。Should business hire employees for their entire lives? And the condition to which you have to answer this question is to say as much as you can in or for one minute. 好，假设你今天给你要讲一分钟的时间，啊，就是你无非不管长或短，你就一定要讲讲足一分钟。然后回答问题是，你觉得企业啊是否要聘请啊员工一辈子？哦，这样子，那你会怎么回答？你的想法会什么？那当然，如果是雅思或者是托福，可能会给你三十秒或一分钟的架构时间这样子。那假设我今天直接问你的话，你会怎么回答？那你一定会发现说，口说的内容跟你写有点不一样。为什么？因为你写作话呢，有一些架构，那你可以比较好规划这样子。那所以这个影片这个、系列呢，嗯、呃，看效果如何啦？看效果怎么样？就想说，就选一些文章，然后一方面可以让。国高中生可以加强你们单字跟写作文法之外呢，也可以练习听力，因为我会把这个文章念出来，然后把一些好的架构，呃，做个说明，呃，简单的说明，那以及你们也可以练习回答看看啊。如果有兴趣的话，当然，如果你要在脑海在在你脑海中去练习也 OK， 或者是朗读在 Line 里面也 OK， 因为我这边有一个 Line 群组。啊，有有一点废掉，这点抱歉。不过最近看这个群组呢，大概有二十个人在里面哦，不会很多。其实我本来就很希望群主不要太多人啊、哦，因为我不是什么什么粉丝团，就是真的是有心想要学可以加入。那有些学生过往呢会把他们朗读练习给我听，那我就给他们一些一点 feedback。OK， the same goes for this topic. So if you're interested, uh, to answer your response, by all means, you're welcome. 好，那。简单的描一下这个题目呢，大概一百一百九十一百八几个，然后它从比如说 ，Is human relationship with pets useful？ 跟 A house or a business 等等，这些都很有意思的托福的题目。它有些久远了，不过我相信托福也不会改变太多。OK， 那我们就先从最简单开始朗读文章。Right， 不要再废话，开始。So the topic for today. Um, the essay is called "Why Go to University." So, 假设我现在问你 ，Why did you go to a university, or why did you get a diploma, for example? How would you answer that? Okay. 
，那我们就来纯粹阅、纯粹朗读跟阅读。OK， so topic one, why go to university? I strongly believe that everyone should attend university. Entering university is at the same time a so much promising step into a world of opportunities, as long as it is accompanied by a strong will and desire for distinction. The quality and diversity of opportunities and the spread spectrum of choices. Higher education can provide us is the core motive for everyone intending to attend university. I will try to examine below the specific reasons for entering university according to which I think are the most common viewpoint nowadays. First, let us look at what a person can typically gain from a successfully study at a university. It is a diploma and or a degree. This is by default leading to a more distinct, respected. Well-paid profession. Nowadays, unemployment crisis is troubling not only the poor countries, but the developed Western countries as well. So that the ease of finding a job may play an important role in the decisions people are making. Another important reason is that people want to get more education. University provides a higher level of education and has all these resources and facilities for people who crave knowledge. Learning is the key to everything that we want to improve. So, higher education help us widen our understanding and increase our intellectual ability. Apart from the points I made above, there is also a well-known fashion all over the world that is called career preparation. Many people attend university in order to seek either a career in science and technology or a career in business. It is believed that the ideas. Opportunities, qualifications, in-depth knowledge, and expertise in science areas often make attending university imperative. Many times, a four-year study at a university may may only be the beginning of a sequence of moves someone can make in order to accomplish what he thinks best for his career. Finally, I cannot oversee the fact that many times studying at a university also means living in a city far from home. New responsibilities always appear, but they do not become serious drawbacks. In contrast, the new sense of freedom and independence a young man or woman can experience all things he or she is thought of as something of great importance. One thing is for sure, though: there is a chance, there is chance for everyone in the community of a university to meet people, make new friends, and know individuals of great importance. Last but not least. I wish to say that the purpose of university is to harvest knowledge and to being educated. So it is obvious that everyone can find a reason for attending university. Wow, 天哪！在另外一场睡觉，我觉得太深奥了，呃，太复杂了。那不过毕毕竟是求求学啊，申请大学有它有它一定的深度。那我觉得这一篇可以归类归类为就是睡不着可以听的系列，因为它太太深奥了。那简单的东西，他写的很学术化。那我就来看一下它的内容哦，分什么 ？OK， so how would you break this down？ 如果说要简单的分析，题目是为什么要读大学 ？OK， 那他通常这种题目呢，一开始就要斩钉截铁说，呃，把你的把你的把你的论点把它写出来。通常最简单的最简单的啊、呃，最最简单的呃架构呢？哦，依照我之前在澳洲读书的时候，我老师跟我分享。So you have the introduction, okay? And you have the body, uh, one, two, and three, okay? And then the conclusion. This is a general outline of what a essay, an essay, is comprised of. 通常就是这样子。那依照你的呃字数的限制，你可能省略 body three 或 body two 这样子。可是，在 intro 呢，就是把你论点说出来，然后简单介绍 body one to three。所以一个论点，一个题目呢，通常至少要有一到两个角度去切入。那通常就是在 introduction 介绍 body one elaborate body two elaborate and etc. conclusion summarize。好，那我不会分析太多这个学生写的怎么样，当然他写的非常好。可是我只想要讲哪些值得注意的单词或者是文法 ，OK？ So I strongly believe that everyone should attend university. 所以很明显的第一句就讲说为什么哦，他认为应该要 Entering university is at the same time 
a so much promising step. Promising 字用的很好啊，不是这边我我们不就不讲答应了 ，OK？ 单字我就不去讲，你们一定要去查的意思 ，OK？ As long as it's accompanied by 然后的片语 ，a strong will， 好啊，重要毅力 ，and desire for distinction。这 distinction again a great word. 这边的话就不是讲说，呃，差异什么。这边讲说优越、卓越。The quality and the diversity again very good words and spread spectrum. 这边讲 spread spectrum， 我个人觉得用 broad spectrum 比较好。B R O A D。我觉得 spectrum 的话就是样式。好，可是它这个是生物的单词，它把它用它把它用在一般英文啊，蛮蛮不错的。So broad, broad spectrum. 当然没有限制了，他只是用同义字去取代，也蛮聪明的用法。Our education can provide us the core motive for everyone intending to attend university. I will try to examine below the specific reasons for entering according to what I think are the most common viewpoints nowadays. Okay, viewpoints, not bad. So first, look at what I typically gain, okay, from university. Is is by default. This is very good. Leading to a more distinct, respected, well-paid profession. So, the first point is that he thinks that after university, you can immediately, not immediately, but you can apply in the future for a better pay. Oh, more respected. But this is of course possible. This is true. But generally speaking, after university, the university level is often recognized as more respected. Then he talks about that now, if say, if you are 待业啊，或者是不好做、不好找工作的情况下呢，呃，会有什么影响？这样子，所以有大学学历绝对对求职有很大的帮助。那第二个论点 ，Another important reason is that people want to get more education. University provides a higher level of education and has all the resources and facilities that people who crave knowledge. 这词用的好，就渴望啊，渴望知识，渴对求知这样子。So learning is the key. And higher education. 国外常常讲 higher education 高等教育啊，对。好，第三个 ，apart from the points I made above, there is also a well-known fashion all over the world. 这边讲 fashion 应该不讲流行，应该讲认知或 trend. A well-known trend, I would say. Many people attend university in order to seek a either a career in science or in technology or a career in business. So they have two types. To go to university, it can be divided into science, technology, or science. He thinks that these things are the most important to you. They give you ideas, opportunities, and skills. More deeper knowledge is more important. More imperative, more critical. Something that is imperative, it is critical. Many times, a four-year study at a university may only be the beginning of a sequence. This is very good. Of moves someone can make in order to accomplish, 看的不要看的单词 what he thinks best for his career. Okay, 最后 finally, I cannot oversee the fact that many times studying at a university also means living in a city far from home. New responsibilities always appear, but they do not become serious drawbacks. Drawbacks. It's a nice word to keep. In your dictionary, 就是算是缺点 shortcomings. Okay, drawbacks. 把它记成 shortcomings. 好，最后就是 last but not least, I wish to say that the purpose of university is to harvest knowledge, okay, and to being educated. So it's obvious that everyone can find a reason for attending university. 收尾我觉得有点急，不过大致上这个是绝对是有。B plus A 的等级的的文字文字叙述内容，以及它的它的架构。那我们来简单的复习一下画的关键词 ：promising, accompanied by will, distinction, diversity, spread, spectrum, core motive, viewpoints, typically gain by default, crave higher education, fashion imperative, sequence accomplish, drawbacks. Harvest. Okay, 那很不好意思，第一篇就选这么的难啊。不过这也是没办法，因为要学英文总是要接触难的东西。Right. So I hope my future videos will be as interesting as this one.